check out our new Jacobs Jacker. As you all know with dirt track racing, the most beautiful thing about it is it's ever-changing track conditions. It goes from super tight to super loose. Super tight, it's actually got more traction than asphalt does. And on its slick, it's like ice. You slide around everywhere. The beautiful thing about the Jacobs Jacker is it allows you to adjust for these ever-changing conditions. Uh, if you are able to adjust for these conditions, you have a huge advantage over your competition. That's why we invented the Jacobs Jacker patent pending. It allows you to adjust the roll center up and down as you race by a shock adjuster cable that mounts in your cockpit. It allows you to move the roll center of the Jacobs ladder up a half an inch to loosen the car up or down three quarters of an inch to tighten the car up. It changes the geometric weight transfer, which is the weight that transfers through the car's mechanical linkages, in this case, the Jacobs ladder. This can be a huge advantage to help you go faster. As the race goes on, typically the track will get slicker, so you can lower the roll center. If you go out and your car is too tight, you can raise it up to help loosen the car. That's the quick ins and outs of the Jacobs Jacker. You can find out more about elastic and geometric weight transfer on our website on my article that I wrote called Rethink Dirt. There's also tons of other tech information on the website. You've got to check it out, www.hyperracing.com. We have the Jacobs Jacker available for Z-Link chassis, for midgets, and for the Hyper Wishbone chassis, both the short and the long wheelbase versions. So make sure you check it out on our website or get on our website and order our new catalog. 200 pages of full color, tech information, beautiful product photos, and lots of racing pictures as well. Take care. So of the hyper racing products we use, this is by far my favorite one, personally. Uh, Jacob Jacker, realistically, when you go out west and uh, you things, you race against them cushions out there. You can kind of find your balance throughout the night and you really don't adjust much. The only thing I touch throughout the night is actually Jacob Jacker. Throughout these increments right here, you can raise and lower your overall roll center. Um, the huge part is, say if it's a huge curb and uh, it's come feature time, you can always just lift it up if you know you're going to beat it down. Or if you're going to run the bottom, you know what I mean, like your agent in life, you can drop it down here and create a hot, uh, so much more of a higher roll center. Um, this is the biggest part I feel like to um, our racing program here. If I could only have one adjustment, this would be it. Just about it was the fact that I can adjust the roll center at, while we're racing, like it's all remote adjustable. So I know Heath used it a lot when he was you know, under yellows. He didn't he didn't move it much while he was racing, but. He always, uh, you know, adjusted it depending on how the track conditions were. If we missed with our setups a little bit, or you know, just basically, if he didn't feel good, he he had something more to adjust other than just shocks. You know, he could change his roll centers depending on, like I said, if it was tacky or if it was starting to blow off and get slick. My thoughts on the Jacobs Jacker. Uh, I really like the Jacobs Jacker from having the older hyper cars where. Um, we were all panter bar cars and one of the go-to adjustments was the panter bar adjuster. Um, I like the Jacobs Jacker because it's an easy adjustment to think about like that. A lot of times your shock adjustments, they're a little more complicated to think about how they work on your car. And the Jacobs Jacker is a very cut and dry, raise and lower it, tight and loose in the car. Um, you definitely can feel, feel how it affects moving that a lot more than just moving it from one race to another. Um, when you're actually doing it during the race and feeling the adjustment on it. So I definitely do like the Jacobs Jacker and think it's a great tool. You ain't jacking, you're jacking to the rear. I'll tell you that right now. Because this 40 lapper, I'll have this thing pinned down here and you'll still be up here and I'll drive right around you. <laughs>